All right, what's up, everybody? On deck with Third Eye Cam. Today's date is September 12, 2020. The time right now is 23:06. Um, I was trying to work my uh, telescope earlier, but I didn't have everything hooked up. Now I am officially set. Um, we're gonna take a look up at the sky and the stars. Right now, I have a. Uh, let me make sure this is right. I have my telescope pointed at Mars. So what I'm gonna do is just make some quick adjustments. I want this to be in color. All right, so you can see red Mars. Let me put it in the center. Let me make sure I'm focused. So this is some, we're gonna get into some heavy stuff right now. And I'm gonna need everything set up just right. So I'm gonna kind of move stuff around, finagle stuff here and there, and uh, try not to get all my wires crossed up, you know what I mean? Alright, we are set. Okay, so like I was saying, we're looking at uh planet Mars. And uh, we're just gonna kinda scour the sky. And look around. I got my uh my bobble of night vision set on my on my scope. And we're gonna see what we can get. So let me make some more adjustments. I'm, I apologize if I get attacked by any mosquitoes. I'll just make adjustments off that. But for work right now, we're just going to kind of run around the sky and see what we can find. Okay, so there's Mars, obviously. And um, I want to give you all a smooth look at, you know, everything I'm catching. All right, here we go. Here we go. So we're going to catch some... Uh, crazy deals in the sky and we just keep you know going from there all right cool yeah I can see that better now all right so oh there's something oh, and it's moving too fast now I do see a uh, chopper You know, I'm not even worried about that chopper. There's my comet again. Look at that. There it is. That's, uh, I think it's 2013. I can't remember that name. I don't want to mess it up. But as, as you can see, it changed position in the sky. It was not near these stars at the bottom. You can see that really well. So this thing's going to be here and there for a while. I'm wondering this is the one that's going to swing by us in, uh, they say it's September 22nd, but I, I can't tell. Anyway, there it is. It's kind of near and above my head, almost. Let's see, right here. I can kind of see it. Yep, I can see it with my naked eye. I can see it with my naked eye. But you can't see, like, all that span off of it. Well, look at this, man more ufos and those are not birds i wish they just really slow down i'll come back to that spot i don't know where that star is i'm gonna look for that constellation i saw before it may be higher it might be lower I, I don't really get to track the stars every day because of this ridiculous uh weather we've been having you know so on nights like this when when I do get a chance to look at the stars, I take full advantage of it. I think that was it right there. It was a cluster. It, that might not be it. I'm just going to kind of keep looking. Let's go up higher. All the action is mostly up high. What is this right here? I'm trying to figure out if that's a star or another comet. Yeah, anyway, I forgot about the comment's name, so I will post it up. Just to, to you know, I don't like to be incorrect with my information, so I'd rather not say it. And then when I figure it out, I'll post it. Look at that. Can't keep up with that. Another UFO. Tell y'all in a second. Oh, 
it doesn't even post it, but whatever company that makes these night visions. There it is. See? That's another UFO. This is the stuff that I'm catching. It changes direction. It's not going straight. A, a meteorite streak streaks with a, a tail, you know what I mean? And these things are not really birds. Birds have a flicker to them. These things usually fly, fly really straight, real fast. They turn directions really quick. I've yet to see one stop on a dime. Well, let me see. There's another one. And there's another one. So, you know, are those birds or UFOs? And I stand corrected, like I always say. I really think these are UFOs. I mean, a bird could be an unidentified flying object, but these things move erratically fast. And then sometimes they slow down. I know birds move fast too, but these things move real close, uh, fast across the sky. There's another one following that crew. Only thing I hate is that they fade out of sight. That's going south towards Carolina. And then it disappears. Alright, there's another one. This is why I can't catch Jupiter. These anomalies flying. And I'm really trying to see if it's a bird or if it's some kind of ship type deal. Alright, there is. I think that's Saturn. Look, that's Saturn. No, it might be Jupiter. Let me see. Matter of fact, you know, sit right here. I need to put my spotter on. I did not plug in my spotter. And there's another little UFO deal. You'll see it stuff kind of shifts slightly, but don't worry about it, we'll set it right back. Oh, another little UFO. That rotation was my uh, night vision on top of There we go. You said it. I want it vertical, but enough where I can see look through my spotter. All right, so let me see if I can pinpoint Jupiter. I am severely off. All right, so I'm gonna swing over to Jupiter. So that was Saturn. That is Saturn. All right, cool. So now I know where to go to Jupiter. You should see Jupiter. Oh, there's Jupiter. See, I was off by a few degrees. But yeah, there's Jupiter. Let me sharpen it out. Blurry, sharp, sharp as I can get it. Cool. And there's some of Jupiter's moons around Jupiter. Man, that's cool. All right, now I'm cooking. Again, Saturn. Now I can go vertical. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, I can't catch it. That irks me. It's just right. I just caught something. I'm trying to see if that's a bird or a UFO. These things kind of fly back and forth all night. So it's it could be a bird but it's not given the characteristic of a bird as it's moving slightly faster kind of back and forth all right so oh, oh, oh. damn it I'm doing all that work to get up and something flies by and i gotta go chase it but it runs too fast All right, I'm back. We're all seeing some weird anomalies fly around. Like, see that? That was not a bird. No way. We're seeing too many weird anomalies. 
and that's the reason why I kind of parked my camera um, to see what I can catch. And what I'm doing is, uh, you know, I'm gonna go back to this exact moment and still shot these. Those are not birds. <laughs> Those are not bugs or birds. Bugs have a stagger movement to them and birds have a clap. That is a steady stream of flight. <sighs> and I'm glad to be catching them, but I need to catch more of them. At some point, I'm going to dismount my night vision and really chase them. Now, so far, I've only found one comet. I know that there are more up there, but I'm not catching them or seeing them. Though they're just that far out, like linear, uh, swift pan stars. I know they were close to the Earth a while back. Other than the one I keep catching, um, I seem to be catching a lot of them. All right, let's see. Keep it moving. I'm going to try to make this as short as possible. Um, it's a pretty good night to be looking. Oh, look at that. Another one fly by. Oh, what was that? Oh, it was another UFO. Damn it. See what I'm saying? Those things are moving fast, y'all. <laughs> At some point, like I'm gonna go hands free and start really looking for these anomalies. Go back to my planet Mars. There's there's Mars. See how it's showing up all red. And according to my research, Mars is gonna be Mars is in a retrograde right now. So instead of it looks like it's gonna be what how they say flying to the uh, as Earth passes it between their orbits with the star field and I can't see it now but it's going to kind of fall back apart from where it normally runs and it's going to we're in an equinox with it caught you See that? That's not a bird. Look how fast that thing is moving. That bogey is moving fast. That's a UFO. That's not a earthcraft, not a bird. And it's moving real fast. And it disappears. And I still got it. It's kind of going now. There's another one. That's a totally different one. Like I'm trying to see if it's a bird. You know, we know birds do fly high, but um, they also make little quacking noises. Like literally. Bats flicker back and forth. They don't fly in a straight line like that. Literally, because they're all going off their son sonar. They all are on this flight pattern. And that's direct south going southwest. And there's another one. See how they're crossing up? Another one right there. And that's at the horizon, there's another triangle structure. There's more of them. Of course, I'm going to keep up with the brighter one. Now the other one just kind of stopped in midair. You saw it back there. <laughs> it, it moved and stopped and then this one kept going. So whatever these little unidentified flying whatevers are, they are out strolling. Saw another one. 
Uh, there's my pyramid triangle again, and that's actually due south. And a diamond right beside it. There's another one. Does that look like a bird to y'all? Please tell me. Because, let me see, it's uh, changing direction. Not stop. Birds don't do that. Not like that. Still going down. I lost it. I saw it. Oh, there it is. Still going. I know birds can stop in the air, but this, this the way this thing is like zigzagging. Move, stop, move, stop, and then jumps back up and brought me down to the horizon of the tree. So we're going back up with it. I ain't gonna be out here too much longer. The mosquitoes are trying to figure out how to get into my cami netting. Okay, that thing just outran me. Alright. Can't keep up with that. Like I said, if those are birds, I stand corrected. But I can't keep them up with them fast enough to really lock on to them. My uh, telescope is really about to come off the mount here, and I'm really about to start chasing these things real quick. So hang tight. All right, we're back. We got about to get real deep into my hunting now. So I'm at the horizon. This is down direct south uh, by North Carolina. I got the hand, the camera in my hand, freestyle. What I'm gonna do is put it up next to my head to get less shaken, so my head is the guide. All right. So what we're gonna do is go back to where I was looking for these UFOs. I'm gonna kind of start scouring the sky. I can move faster with my head. Literally, I just pretty much put it up to my head and I'm scouring around. There's another comet. Got it. It's one of my other comets. Center of the camera. I'm not gonna focus on that right now though. I'll give you the name of it. But I know where it is, so I'm gonna come back to it later. These comets always show up as a rusty red with a lot of uh, debris and dust around them. My stars always show up bright. And planetoids. I'm pretty sure we got a lot of rogue planets out there that NASA has not told y'all about. Man, I lost it. Gotta learn how to manipulate the camera. There's another booger. It's moving fast. See, birds don't move that fast. Look how fast that thing is moving. It's going uh, southwest. There's another one. I'm going to try to follow as best I can. And I lost it. Took a step and lost it. That's okay. I'm there's more up there. So does that look like a bird to y'all? I know birds do move fast and it might be lower to the ground. That thing seems way up there and it's, it's, it's just doing not bird type stuff, you know? Let's see what this is. See how it's blinking? It's not a bird. Not a bird. That's a UFO, y'all. Yeah, another one just fly across it. I know birds flap, but that was a blink. See what I'm saying? Like, we got a lot of UFOs flying over our heads right now. Blinking. No FFA lights. Birds flap. That was a steady blink. Birds do a regular flap. They'll flap, 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 pause. Flap, 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 pause. These are shown as mechanical blinks. See, see that blink? That's computerized. That's not a bird. And that's how they probably pick each other up. Let's just cross up with another one. And that is not our government. Tell me y'all, something screwy is going on. 
this is why I'm still hanging out here because these things are flying a pattern and once I catch them um, I'm just gonna track them there's another one going slightly slower and look how fast they're crossing the sky birds ain't doing that not like that there's another one look at that moving faster it's changing direction not a bird it's going southwest so now it's really starting to catch them I'm not go back up to the same spot. You should probably catch another one. I'll probably end up catching more or another one. I think they're literally doing circles above my head. Two of them. I'm gonna stay with the brighter one. Still have that standard uh, blink. I think that's how they see each other with their alien night vision. I mean, we can't see them, but my night vision is picking up. I'm pretty sure NASA picks it up too and any other government personnel on the ground. Look at that. There's another one. Look at the blink. That's how they see each other to not crash into each other, aside from having radar. Birds don't do that. You still see the steady computerized blink. There's another one. So y'all are catching this with me. These little UFOs are flying vectors. Still see it. They come in fast, they come out slow, and then they have a steady blink to their, their hole. Not a bird. Birds fly with flat patterns. These are flying with brilliant light schemes. Now you can't even get excited no more. I'm starting to catch so much, and I can distinguish from birds and bugs and uh, uh, earthly aircraft with FFA, even if they got you know I've seen combat military jets they have they still fly like your regular look at that holy okay that's a that's a bird alright definitely that's a bird okay so we got that see how he's flapping he takes a break he's uh, other and he's going slower so I'm glad he crossed up into my vector I think that was a geese He's got a flap and then he stops. Then he's flying slower. I don't know if birds can get up there with their speed, but these other ones that are, that are flying in are flying in ridiculously crazy. And they have a, a light to them. Now I'm glad that bird flew in. Now we can see the difference. I'm looking for more birds and more UFO. So, you know, I, I can't say it was a pleasure to have done all that, but it's, it's just been interesting. Another UFO. Above my head. Going south. I'm trying to see if it's a bird or a bogey. That was a bird. You saw that one. Bird flew right below the bogey. That's a UFO. No lawsuit. So, you know, like I said, I'm not really playing with this star game. It's uh, I'm not gonna pull your leg. I know some people like to pull your leg and then try to make it seem like it's more than what it really is. I'm gonna bring you the truth. Guys blinking, UFO. Trying to make sure it's not flapping like a bird. Oh, 
also going south. I mean, they could very well be all, you know, birds, but that's just not, you know, the way they, they're kind of just flapping off. It's showing up really different. I would like to catch some more meteorites. Awesome. See, UFO. Flying at a high rate of speed. Not a bird. Just change direction. UFO. I need to catch one of them sitting still, you know? It would be nice. All right, so I think I'm about to bring this to a close. There's this uh, some planetoids and stars to the east. I'm sorry, to the west. This double one though. Let me, let me zoom in on this one. That's really interesting. So that's an actual star or a spaceship. Double star. Interesting. They, they move fast, I'll tell you that much. Extremely fast. Oh, where you go? Oh crap, there it is. That one almost got away from me. Too damn fast for me. Keep up with. Alright, this third eye cam, we are signing off and we appreciate you. Please watch, like, subscribe, and share. And we're gonna keep doing the best we can to figure out if these are birds or UFOs. And look how they're chasing each other literally. These things are moving bogeys. But yeah, please watch, like, subscribe, and share, and we're out of here. Poof.